let's get in there and we're gonna do a little bit of the music for the first time I can actually finally share with you how you do it with a little bit of the music in the background so that you get to see what's the beat boom 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 let's do it peace 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 this is Mia your dance life coach your transformational miracle worker the founder of Kizomba Biology and Kizomba Cafe from Vancouver Canada good morning gorgeous for men or woman doesn't matter where you are this is part five yay after two and almost a half month of a break because Mia has been MIA why because she's so scared she's scared to actually show up why because she's been too busy no just kidding I have been actually very busy on the other side the other side there there also my Mia more astro tarot Facebook people in a pra practical way the people who need some extra emotional support because Kizombology it's not just about dance it's about the emotion Kizombology it's energy and motion when the energy and motion put together bam it become miracle that's how I was to say okay so why don't we actually get into today's topic we are gonna learn about the walk okay so this is actually something that I've been trying to kind of slowly slowly share with you girls the lady style in the way that you will stand out on the dance floor looking very authentic looking very content looking very stylish looking very elegant remember being content elegant authentic and also what did I say last word <laughs> classic elegant I don't know I forgot but you know what I'm talking about not only dance really feeling mm, number one good number two the guys will actually feel like very happy to dance with you and number three you inspire others why can't we actually just learn to be you know more um, how do you say that creative in the way not learning dance or dancing for the sake of only say wanting attention to just having happy being happy nothing wrong with that right or just want to make friends whatever the reasons you are you are learning dance okay can bring you fulfillment in your true happiness I'm talking about true happiness not fake happiness not temporary happiness because it's different that's where I think my way of delivering the style of dance and also the philosophy of what's behind the movement that's actually your emotion your energy that I've been practicing teaching and sharing for many years now and that's how I learned my mentor Kondalima is the the guru on this path he's one one of the top you know from eight years ago when Kizomba was completely unknown he was the first instructor I believe who deliver um, I think Kizomba in that sense where combine true emotions and also awareness and also truthfulness and respect and harmony and balance and all these juicy positive affirmations that you can bring it into the dance world that's where dramas will stop between you and other people or just yourself copy right okay so that's getting into how to utilize this two two not four two <laughs> Hi yeah okay fine sorry sorry two um, variations of the walk you can choose and pick which one you like to connect to your part five so if you haven't watched any part one through four go back to watch them each one of them so that you can actually do your part five easier let me repeat that again drink tea cup first mm. watch part one through part four first before you do part five please I beg you okay okay step number one we're gonna go on our tippy toes remember we talked about contentment okay hold on the energy through your torso your thighs keeping your knees really straight okay lock it for this point and push all the weight through your toes sideways okay keep yourself up shoulders back now I'm gonna go from position number one this is the variation number one have your frames out to help yourself to kind of balance yourself okay 
you just move one step a little bit this way and sometimes you know you can't stand for too long right this actually helps you to know how much of your toe strength your thigh strength your whole body strength um, level is is by how long can you stand on your tippy toe the ver version number one which is having your arms out okay leveled you want to actually hold it like as you are dancing with a guy that's okay too the knees are not bending this is actually ver version number one when they make a small step baby step which is like moving your upper body a little bit don't swing it just tilting because your legs are actually moving straight 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 go up on your toes have your arms stretch out like a friend shoulders back squeeze everything squeeze 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 bring your legs close together touching the knees touching the the heels touching together now we're gonna walk from your left hand left foot we're gonna walk from your left foot and as you're walking tilt your, your upper body opposite direction just a little bit a little bit not too much almost like rocking do, do, do. left right left right left right you actually will find that that was and how do you remember this my fingers your legs are literally moving straight like this bending knees there's no bending there's no bending like this in walk no they're actually moving duck, 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 duck. very robotic Those positions let's do that again having your elbows out if you want to or if you are holding the frame I'll do the version number two frame okay let's go starting with your one two three four five six seven eight five six seven eight go one two three four five six seven eight drop it okay now when you turn around again you can do that if you like to we're gonna go up to our toes again Whew. squeeze put everything all together either the frame or the basic holding okay now five six seven eight go one two three four five six seven eight that's eight counts okay so how close now let me show you how close when i say keep your legs close or knees or heels whatever piece of paper okay I put it in between my knee okay now I'm gonna go up I can hold a piece of paper if I want to but now if I ask myself to walk one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight if the paper doesn't drop congratulations if the paper drops you gotta go back and practice until the paper doesn't drop anymore that's how close your legs are supposed to be because it looks really nice now that's number one okay so I'm gonna demonstrate right now how does it look like from the back I will use a piece of paper as well to demonstrate put it right between my knees okay now I'm gonna go on my toes Ooh, now find your balance spot ba balance spot okay have our friends up either in the proper frame position or the basic one either way okay now we're gonna walk back we see i'm already falling let's go one two three four five six seven eight go one two three four five six seven eight drop it oh my god <laughs> that was not easy at all i'm dying okay version number two we're gonna call it the elegant, the walk of classic Audrey Happen. The Audrey Happen walk. Why I say that? I'm a big fan of Audrey Happen, okay? I'm a big fan of her. You know how she was a ballerina before she got, she got, she got the, the, discovered to be an actress? That's why we're gonna walk by her. My movie star idol, okay? This is related to how do you walk? Think of yourself as a, a ballerina. Ballerina. If you take some ballet, took some ballet when you were a kid, you remember those painful times with your toes. Because I was one of you. That's why I quit within a few months. You know, being such a tomboy. My mom said, yeah, you don't have to go anymore. Because I keep pushing people. <laughs> my sister. Anyway, that's an inside joke, okay? Anyway, version number two. 
we're gonna go on our toes again. This time, we will lift our foot up. See this? Do this exercise a couple of times. Go up, one. Go down, go up, woo. Go down, up, one, go down. The front way looks like this. Up, lift, go down. Drop, up, lift, drop, go down. We're gonna walk from here. Five, six, seven, eight. Forget your friends, ha One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ding, and drop. Okay, that's why you need to do the exercise first. Now, let's go up with the friends again. Go up on your toes, find your balance. Let's go back, right foot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and drop it. What's the key point on this? What is the key? Listen carefully. I'm sharing all of these tips with you guys because it's crucial. It will make your tippy toe elegance Audrey Happens walk. <laughs> I named that, okay? That's my trademark right there, Audrey Happens work, walk. When you are lifting your toe, make sure it's this. Not just this. Not just this. Point out, stretch the front wall of your foot, pointing the toes down the floor. See that? You wanna do this, not this. See the toes? You wanna do this. So when you're actually walking, pointing, pointing, pointing. That's the key. So, the front way, you can see this, prepare yourself, push up, squeeze, tight your legs, your frame, let's walk, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and go on the toes, squeeze, frames up, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and drop it. Now we walk back, you will see the back. Go on the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. That's all. That's all you need to practice. Oh my God. Ooh. So if I'm actually gonna play a music to show you how do you do this.
I hope you like the exercise. It's burning caliente here. Woo. Like, seriously, it's been a while, man. If you have any questions, please send me the message privately as you have been doing, or just comment below. Please comment below and share with others how has this video stuff has been helping you, has been you know supporting you, what are the benefits, what are the the, the, the strength that you find in it. Share with people that you think can be beneficial for this. Okay, so until then, don't forget, whew, don't forget to live, love. Dance like a dancing heart. Ciao. Mwah. I know you're my boy, but it's a sad illusion. Now I'm put a real nigga, forced to do kills for you. Era dos, 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 boy, tan dos, dos. to mention when you do these steps right the tippy toes and stuff like that you might find it much more easier when you actually dance with a guy because you have the frame and he holds you so you can utilize using the arms right this one here placing it on his the back of his shoulder somewhere or even on his shoulder whatever where you put this arm right and also because you are grabbing you know his other hand like that so you will have more focus and also more support by pushing yourself up higher that way you can actually really focus on playing with your feet, making those every step looking so elegant, like Audrey Hepburn. Oh, so pretty. I love her so much. It's my inspirational. That's what I think. Yeah, little extra tip for you guys. Here.